Hi, uh, today I have video for you about uh, law of probability and about application of the Hardy-Weinberg formula and uh, about, of course, population genetics. So here is a problem. In the United States, 16% of the population has Rh negative blood, which is recessive. If the student population of the Whitney High School was 2000, how many students would you expect for each of the three possible genotypes? So if you feel that you can solve this problem, you may stop video here and uh, when you will have uh, your solution, you may uh, start video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. So uh, imagine that this is red blood cell and on the surface of the red, bl blood, ce red blood cell there can be present many different uh, antigens and uh, for example uh, the most important uh, blood system uh, would be ABO blood system group and uh, three uh, different uh, alleles would make uh, four different uh, uh, blood groups in this ABO blood group system and in RH uh, system there are more than 50 different uh, uh, proteins or antigens that uh, when present on the surface of this uh, red blood cell would make up uh, the genotype of this uh, in this system but uh, only five of them uh, would be considered uh, the most important and here this uh, antigens first one would be antigen D then uh, C capital and C small and E capital and E small. So as you see, five um, antigens, but most important among them would be antigen D and presence and absence of this antigen would mean uh, positive or negative um, blood group. So sometimes you may find abbreviation that would be R H D positive or R H D negative or this can be uh, a short abbreviation that is R H just uh, negative or positive. So this particular uh, gene or uh, protein means uh, to which blood group uh, uh, this particular uh, sample may belong. So let's now return to our problem and uh, we can solve our problem using um, Hardy-Weinberg formula and here is the formula frequency of the different genotypes in the um, uh, gene pool would be uh, p squared plus 2p q plus q squared w uh, and uh, all the uh, alleles p plus q would equal to 1 when you add them up and 1 would equal to 100 percent and as you see, for the P squared stands homozygous dominant condition when both alleles D present. For the heterozygous condition, uh, here only uh, one allele D present and absent for the Q. And Q squared means homozygous recessive. So uh, the condition where uh, there is no uh, uh, antigen D present so uh, because we are deployed that means that uh, uh, we didn't got uh, this allele from our father side and uh, we didn't got it from our mother side so just absent homozygous recessive so as you see three conditions homozygous uh, dominant heterozygous and homozygous recessive and we told that uh, Q squared uh, in uh, population uh, of the United States 
uh, is about 16%. So this means negative. So pr uh, antigen D is not present in such genotype and uh, blood group would be RH negative. So uh, that means that these two groups would make up uh, the rest or 100% minus 16 would means that these two groups would make 84% but uh, now we have to find uh, a proportion of each uh, genotype of the homozygous dominant and heterozygous and we know only uh, number for the uh, homozygous recessive so how we are going to solve this problem that's very easy uh, as long as we know that Q squared uh, equals to 16% uh, that also means that Q squared uh, equal to 0 0.16 according to our proportion here where 1 equal to 100% so we just have to divide this number uh, by 100 in order to convert in this form that we need uh, in order to solve our problem and uh, we also can find Q as long as we know the Q squared so Q would equal square root taken out of 0 0.16 and that means that Q equals to 0.4 so uh, as you see now we know q squared this is the number now we know the number q and this is part of the formula that where we need q and uh, as long as we know q we can find p we just have to use this uh, equation here and uh, as long as p plus q equal to 1 we can find p and uh, we just have to rearrange our formula and this is going to be 1 minus q would equal to p and we know that uh, q is 0 0.4 so p would equal to 1 minus 0 0.4 and that means that p equal to 0 0.6 so now we know p number and this is 0 0.6 and we need this number here and as long as we know p we can find uh, p squared we need it here so p squared would equal to 0 0.6 squared and that means that p squared equal to 0 0.36 so here we have this number and now we have to calculate uh, number of the heterozygous and this would be 2pq and this means that 2 multiplied by number p that is uh, 0 0.6 and multiplied by number q that is 0 0.4 and this would equal to 0 0.48 and uh, now we can uh, find our uh, answer uh, for uh, number of each uh, genotypes, uh, frequency of each genotypes here, just converting uh, all these numbers uh, into percentage form, or we just can use these uh, uh, numbers directly multiplied by uh, 2000, the number of the students in the Whitney High School. So uh, here uh, for the Q squared that is uh, means number of the homozygous recessive we know that this is 16% so if we multiply uh, 0 0.16 uh, 
by 2000 we are going to get uh, 320 and this is would be number of students that belong uh, to the RH negative group uh, that means uh, both uh, both uh, alleles D absent so uh, this uh, these persons here didn't uh, got uh, allele D from the parent and uh, whether from the mother side or from the father side and uh, as for the number of the heterozygous we know that this is going to be 48 uh, percent or 0 0.48 here so when we multiply by 2000 uh, we are going to get here 960 people who are going to be heterozygous or D and uh, absence but still this is going to, to be uh, uh, these people would belong to the uh, blood group RH positive because they have uh, at least uh, one allele D and also we can find a uh, number of students or proportion that belong to the uh, um, homozygous dominant group here so this is uh, p squared and this is 0 0.36 or 36 percent so when we multiply by 2000 we are going to get uh, 720 people who belong to the uh, blood group that is RH positive and would belong to the genotype that is homozygous dominant. So as you see uh, our answer here would be um, 900 60, 720 and 320. So uh, all together if we combine all these numbers we are going to get 2000 people and uh, these two groups that is uh, homozygous dominant and heterozygous would be uh, RH uh, positive so these uh, two groups would be RH positive and uh, this group here would be RH negative. Thank you for your attention. That's all for today. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Goodbye.